with regard to homophobia and anti-Semitism. Can you spell out what it is you think he's done wrong? Let's be very clear, I am not criticising Jeremy's values in any way or anything that Jeremy thinks. I think this is purely about having a responsibility to think about if you're inviting people to appear on platforms with you, the, the signal that it sends out and being very clear to always distance ourselves and the Labour Party from extremism, from anti-Semitism and from homophobic abuse. I am not criticising Jeremy's values and I would just, you know, make that... But he was wanting to share a platform. I, think it's, I just don't think you should share platforms with, with people who, who pursue abuse. Jeremy Corbyn. You have to talk to people if you're going to make progress. You have to oppose anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, far-right racism all the time, and we all do all the time. You're not going to bring about a Middle East peace process unless Israel negotiates with both Hamas and Fatah, and uh, everybody, everybody knows that. And indeed, Israel has already been in talks with Hamas through the proximity talks in Cairo. Indeed, um, I hesitate to quote him, but Tony Blair has actually met uh, Hamas far more times than I have. But talks are right. It's a good thing to have talks. There's a right. difference well, between well, talks think and having platforms a... that give people the chance to promote Sorry. their there views be a bar and then licensing and legitimizing I mean, them. You, you congratulate on Twitter, Ken Livingstone, for not sharing a platform with the BNP. Mm. Would you share a platform with the BNP? No, of course not. Well, it, it, well, so it, you wouldn't share a platform with the BNP, but you would with the people you have? I have talked to people about the Middle East issues with... with yes, I've spoken to Hamas. Indeed, I met Hamas in the company of a large number of members of Parliament from the British Parliament and parliaments all across Europe in their role as the elected government of Gaza. Does that mean we agree with all the policies elected government of Gaza? Absolutely not. Does it mean one wants to try and bring about a process which will end the siege of Gaza, which will end the ghastly situation that many Palestinian people are living in, yes. And do many P Israeli people agree with what we're saying on that? Absolutely yes. Okay. There are many who do. We're going to move on to uh, domestic uh, 